My name is Gregor Beck and I'm the Director of Conservation and Science with Long Point Basin Land Trust. The Land Trust is a local uh, conservation organization. We're a registered charity that was established in uh, the mid-90s. And over the last uh, number of years, we've been working to protect nature, protect important natural areas, and help species at risk. Uh, one of the groups of species that is uh, really important, really interesting, and really imperiled in our region is reptiles. Uh, like elsewhere in Ontario and Canada and well around the globe, reptiles are having a lot of trouble. Our area is home to 12 snake species uh, and uh, seven turtle species. Of these, six out of the seven turtle species are listed as being at risk and half of our snake species are listed at risk. Some of the others are not very common either. When we think of doing, uh, creating the overwintering habitats, the hibernacula for snakes, for example, or turtle nesting structures, uh, once we know in more information from the surveys and public monitoring and even volunteer reports, we can identify where uh, things should be done and what should be done. One of our keenest volunteers locally uh, called us a couple of years ago on the Thanksgiving weekend. And she was terribly upset because she had noticed that there was huge numbers of uh, snakes being killed on the roads within Long Point Provincial Park. And she said, what can we do to help? And she said, I've seen it other years, but this year, I guess the conditions were great. It was a warm, sunny weekend. Uh, it was a lot of traffic. And so there were uh, a lot of snakes on the road, some live, many dead. In fact, that year, uh, we went and surveyed through the Thanksgiving weekend, and there were nearly 200 snakes on the roads within Long Point Provincial Park. Over 60% were dead. We had a lot of support from the park staff, and of course by then the Land Trust had its um, uh, reptile conservation program running. So the park and the Land Trust worked together, and within six months, by the time this park was gearing up the next season, we had uh, raised the funds to buy the fencing and hire a contractor to put in these snake barriers uh, and turtle barriers as well. My name is Adam Timpf and I'm the Species at Risk Biologist with the Long Point Basin Land Trust. And today I'm surveying this roadway in the Long Point Provincial Park looking for uh, snakes and turtles that have wandered onto the road. Uh, as well, I'm recording any roadkill that we find since this has been a major road uh, where we've had a lot of roadkill reports in the past. So as you can see, this uh, fencing is doing its job. The snake is up against the fence and uh, the fence is too high for him to get over and he can't get under it. So he's prevented from going onto the roadway and uh, he has to hang out on this side. So as part of the Long Point Basin Land Trust monitoring of the, uh, of the park roadway and how the fencing's working, we record all the road killed snakes we find and all the live snakes we find. So here's a small road killed brown snake. So I uh, got record the date and the time. Species, it's a brown snake. And I've got a GPS unit here so I can record that so that we can map where exactly along the roadway these road kills are taking place. And we can locate where the hot spots of activity are. And just so we don't double count these guys, we remove them from the road so that tomorrow when we come back, we're not double counting the same snakes. So here's another little guy on the road. A small little uh, brown snake. Oh, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna hurt him. There you go. So he's found his way onto the road and we need to help him off before he gets hit. This uh, pavement retains heat from the day and now that it's cooling off at night these guys get onto the road and they just want to bask here and uh, and soak up the heat so that's when they get run over. It's been interesting. We've seen 
uh, a great reduction in the numbers of turtles and snakes on the roads. It's hard to compare one year to another because conditions can vary, but we have seen uh, probably between a 60 and 90 percent decrease in the number of reptiles on the roads within the area that we've built the barricade. Uh, so it's really exciting. We know from our volunteers, we know from the park staff and from the monitoring that the land trust has done itself that it's making a big difference. And of course the other thing is it gets people talking about what we're doing. And so if people are in the habit when they visit the park uh, of being extra watchful for turtles and snakes on the roads, when they go to another area, they're being extra watchful as well.